Chicago's top cop and faith leaders at the forefront in the fight against violence are hoping new strategies will make the city safer this summer. Shootings escalate on Chicago streets during the hot summer months when kids are out of school. At some point, it goes beyond good policing, it goes beyond better gun laws, and it goes to values. Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy notes that the city's investing in violence prevention plans for at-risk youth and says his officers are working to counter the typical surge in violence during the summer months. They're doing that by seizing guns from criminals and implementing new tactics to proactively intervene in gang conflicts. We're putting hundreds more officers on the street in high crime areas as we head into the summer months. And we're working with our partners in the community, but we continue to be challenged by lax state and federal gun laws. 2,000 illegal guns recovered this year alone should be a stark reminder of that. Superintendent McCarthy contends that the city's violence problem is triggered in large part by a lack of values in young people. And he told IllinoisFamily.org News that's why he's asking churches to reach out and help fill the void. We have to work with those faith-based faith leaders and, and various community components on a whole different level when we're talking about values. You know, what's the value system where that, that an uncle, an adult, puts a gun into the hands of a 14-year-old to commit a murder? Um, so, you know, and, and they step up, the, the faith community. They have stepped up. They're going to continue to step up. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I don't know what it is we need to do to imbue those values into people that, you know, has it that you don't give a kid a gun. You don't give somebody else a gun when you know that they're going to go out and use it on somebody. The Reverend Corey Brooks and his Project Hood is responding to the violence in Chicago. The pastor of the New Beginnings Church on the city's south side hopes to send out 5,000 men who've participated in a training program to the city's most violent blocks this summer to serve as mentors and role models as part of the Brothers on the Block campaign. We're going to you know, take back our community and do everything we can to make sure that it's safe uh, for all the individuals who live in the neighborhood. Meantime, time, the Reverend Roosevelt Watkins is one of the leaders of Chicago's Safe Haven program. We're very concerned about this summer uh, as we've already are seeing a spike in crime. Like more than 100 churches in Chicago, Reverend Watkins Bethlehem Star Church on South Cottage Grove Avenue opens its doors to young people for instruction, activities, and keep them safe. And so we're working with the um, Chicago Police Department along with the uh, community organization and the churches so that we can come up with several programs for the children, which will include employment because our children need uh, job opportunity, uh, along with uh, summer programs so that our children who are out of school can have recreation. And then we're coming up with mentoring programs so those students uh, who need some stability can have someone who can mentor them. When you work with the city, though, does that come with some strings attached? Does it mean you have to water down your gospel message to these kids? Absolutely not. And so uh, we continue to profess uh, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Politicians kind of uh, just don't get it right when it comes to uh, reaching out to kids and trying to keep them out of trouble and, and quelling the violence. They, they focus on gun control and laws and stuff like that, but what should they be doing? What should be happening? Yeah, their, their uh, priorities are misdirected, we, we believe, uh, and the, the direction of the focus on the gun control definitely is not the answer. We need employment opportunity for our children. Uh, our children and youth need the opportunity where they can have gainful employment. And so that's where the focus should be for them. But there's also a role for reaching these kids for Christ and trying to reach them that way as well. And that, that's a big component of what you do and other churches in your community are doing. Yes, sir. And uh, that's a given that that's what we do. We go out into the community. Uh, we do profess Christ to those who are in the streets, those who have never went to church. We have a generation uh, who parents have said that they're not bringing their children up in church that we're facing. And so their first encounter that they're having uh, with Christ is the encounter that we bring to them. And we do that throughout the summer. Safe Haven runs through August 2nd and operates from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. To find out more, contact the Reverend Roosevelt Watkins at the Bethlehem Star Church at 773-487-8441 or contact the Chicago Public School System's Office of Faith-Based Initiatives. That number is 773-553-2500. For IllinoisFamily.org News, I'm Monty Larrick. This has been brought to you by the Illinois Family Institute. 
promoting marriage, family, life, and liberty in the land of Lincoln. For more information, go to IllinoisFamily.org.